Hey everybody, this is Greg with Year of the Dad Gaming. Today we are going to talk about automating creation of potions. Um, to do that, you're going to need several things. You're going to need the seeds um, of the item that you're going to need for your potion. So we're going to do Hell Resistance potions, which require red herb and hell peppers. So I've got a seed of each of those. Uh, you're going to need an automated reaping machine, some planters, your absorbers and droppers, a couple of chests, and a potion brewing stand. So we're going to start with grabbing our planters and we're going to plant it near. You also will need an automated watering system, so you'll need a sprinkler. So I'll plant this close uh, to my sprinkler so that we can uh, make sure we can get both of these watered. And then right in between them, you're going to put your reaping machine. And then you're going to seed one and make sure you're standing so that you only seed one at a time. So got that one with hell pepper. Got that one with the red herb. Okay, so that's going to grow. Um, the water's keeping it water. These plants will continuously grow. The reaping machine will come up and chop it. Uh, so that it can get fed into our next step, which is the storage chest. So let me get my storage chest. Set it. Can't really see that. That should be right there. Should be a good spot. And then I like to put two absorbers just to make sure it gets in there. I'll put one on each side on as far out as I can go. Um, that way it gets the best so that should be pretty good we'll have to check and maybe adjust that if it doesn't quite get the hell peppers we have to move it over just slightly next you're gonna get your potion brewing stand and set it close to your chest And you can see that we are going to go after hell peppers. So we need the red herb and the hell pepper. Just need one of each. Um, so luckily that it, having the big planters, the medium sized planters will give you, you know, two hell peppers, two red herbs each time it, you know, chops them. So you should get two for each rotation through. Um, so now we're going to get a craft connector. Forgot to mention that. Craft connectors are important. There we go. So now that that is connected, you go to your potion brewing stand. Um, on Xbox, you'll click Y for infinite. So instead of just, you can either set a set number of each you want to generate, or you can just say, I want to generate these forever. Go down to the hell resistance potion and press A. And so now when that gets fed into the um, steel chest, It'll wait until you've got the needed ingredients and start auto crafting it. But we don't just want to stop at one. So we're going to put a dropper on here. Just need one dropper. And then we'll need another chest to pick up the completed product. If you line this up perfectly, it should go right into it. I don't think you'll have to do two here, but we'll. We'll wait till we get one and see how it works out, but it should line up just perfectly where this shoots out and it should go straight into there. So while we're waiting for our first batch to complete, just a reminder, you put your two medium planters close to each other, put a reaping machine uh, in between them. You also need an auto sprinkler. So I've got a sprinkler already for my sugar cane crops. And you can see that's going to come up and that's going to chop those. My absorbers here will collect everything that comes out of your medium planter. And then a craft connector to my potion brewing stand to generate. And then it will go 
drop once the potion is created it'll drop into this chest for a collection so while this goes i will speed this up Okay, these are about done. So any minute now we should have our two red herbs and our hell peppers and then our reaper will pop up. Might get lucky and get it on this rotation. There goes the hell peppers and they got sucked in, missed our red herbs. So have to wait for one more rotation. But it looks like our chests are set up good for the hell peppers, so don't have to make any adjustments there. Any minute now. It'd be nice if you could just make that go on demand. There it goes, and got that one. So now that the resource is collected, there goes that, and out pops our potion, and here goes our second potion. And there it goes, and we've collected two hell resistance potions, which are great. Um, if you don't have dragon armor, you like uh, my current build, I don't particularly I like the enchantments I had on my dragon armor. I had better enchantments on the armor I'm uh, currently wearing now. So when I go to Hell Island, I need those Hell Resistance potions uh, to keep my character from dying. So um, this is a handy way if you want to just automate potion creation. This is a great way to do it. You can just kind of have this set up and, and keep going. You can change it out. You could change, you know, since you've got the red herbs, you could uh, do some healing potions. Um, you know, you could change up what type. You might be able to add some more planters here and suck in some more and change it up and do some mana potions or other type of potions and just automate away. And that's all I've got for today. If you uh, enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, give us a like. And if uh, you find our channel helpful, please uh, consider subscribing. It helps our channel grow and helps us get out to more people to help with Craftopia. Thanks for watching.